I know you might be wondering how Henry County is handling the decision to send a class, grade level, or school to remote status on a temporary basis. Hello, I'm Kirk Strum, Chief School Leadership Officer, and in this video, I'll share with you how that decision is made. First, I want to acknowledge the challenge that is presented to families anytime a student is unable to attend school. So when we move a class or school to remote status, we seek to minimize the length of time to the greatest extent possible, while also prioritizing the safety and health of our students and staff. Our COVID-19 playbook, which can be found on our Henry County Schools website, outlines our COVID-19 management plan and our continuum of multi-layered mitigation strategies, which details a targeted response of a temporary or isolated closure could be directed based on conditions concerning rates of new positive cases, hospitalization rates, transmission rates in a school, or when supervision of students is strained due to quarantines. As the circumstances within each school related to COVID cases and quarantines and the staffing strain that could result from that or other factors is unique to each school. And so our targeted response allows us to evaluate those factors impacting schools and make decisions that are right for the specific location while minimizing impact. Also, we prioritize the health and safety of our students and staff when making these decisions because we know that the best place for our students to learn is in a classroom. And so when a decision is made to temporarily send a class or a school remote, you can expect a communication from the school or district detailing that information by the afternoon on the evening before that takes place. We're so grateful to have you as our partner to keep students healthy and learning in Henry County Schools. Thank you.